in my last video about justice for moba someone comments umi knows how and who does responsible for moba's death but she has been threatened because of the secret of who the father of that baby is which she, which they know and what she stand to lose if she confess meaning everything will scatter which roba called from bao yongo according to this person's narrative if umi is not responsible for mobile buying she must know what by her husband by any means and secondly she know very well liam is not mobile son so if she by any mistake confess she will definitely lose everything you see the mind of human one thing she failed to understand is that the world are not going to treat mobile case halfway and the real father of Liam must be exposed. There's no how me we escape that DNA test. Never. The more she's refusing to do DNA, the more the world suspect her for the buying of Mobad. Currently, the international human right has emerged into justice for Mobad. No escape way for Wumi anymore. Justice for Mobad, justice for all. Let's listen to them. Yes, guys. Um on a good morning, another on morning on my side here right now. Um, to let you all know, as we've been, I mean, justice for Mubad, justice for Mubad, and justice by this, by the grace of God, we we get. Uh, I just came out of the CNN office here in Washington D.C. Uh, I walked into the office this morning. In fact, as a matter of fact, I just came out of the office now and then got in my car to, uh, you know, to let you all know about what transpired. Yes, I was able to speak to one uh, one or two people in the office, in CNN office, and uh, um, they just want the true information of what transpired and then who uh, who directly is involved, like who, who could give them the real news of what happened. And as you all know, I, I don't want to, you know, grant any interview regarding this mobile case with the CNN. You all know how big CNN is. I don't want to pass information that may not be true or that may like a guess work or something like that. So I decided to, you know, um, speak to one or two people. Uh, they gave me the contact of who to directly speak with and how to pass my information to who to take over the case with the CNN. So uh, I am why I'm making this video. I'm passing this message out to uh, if it is the the um, is it the barista or the um, uh, the San Chitu that is handling this case. Uh, if he wants to speak to CNN or if he wants to pass his message to CNN, and for them to hear from him and then uh, you know see how they can go about this case, I think he should go to my inbox. Or whoever knows the CNN the CNN information should go to my inbox, you know, uh, place it there so I can give him a call and then uh, you know hook them up, and uh, you know they can take it from there. I really don't want to be involved in it directly because, like I say, I do not have the direct or handy information of what is going on there or what their plans are. So I don't want to you know preempt them or like start to pass information to CNN that may not really be what's going on inside of it. So, I will want to work or, you know, hook up the uh, 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 the, the, the the barrister or the, uh, the son that is handling this case with CNN and then um, they gave me a website, they gave me the email, they gave me the name of the person to speak to, uh, but I can't pass that here right now. I want to speak directly or, uh, you, know, you know, make sure this information gets the right source. So that uh, they can take it from there because we are trying to, you know, make this case go beyond what it is right now. We are trying to make this case go beyond what it is right now. We've seen how it's been handled in Nigeria. We've seen how um, the police have handled this case. They've seen how even the the the, uh, the corona inquest is being handled. They are questioning and all of that. So we've been asking for international bodies to be involved. This is my first move coming to a CNN office, and uh, I, like I said, I want to I want to reach out to whoever is really directly involved with it, and then if it is to, I'm not sure Baba can handle this case like this by himself because, so because I know he's been working through his legal team, so I want to like get in touch with his, the Sanchitu or whoever that is trusted that could handle this case well and be more well explanatory in every information that he or he's going to give uh, to the CNN. So uh, I'm passing this information out. You, whoever has uh, this, uh, this uh, shooting information, go to my inbox, just put it there, and then I could call. And then um, 
give him the information that I need, how he could be hooked up with the CNN, and then uh, they could take it from there. And uh, I'm not just stopping here with the CNN. I have other areas that I need to visit, just I'm, I'm kind of really busy, but I just found out this time that that I, I brought my kids to school and then they close to the CNN office. I decided to walk into it and then uh, make this complaint. And they are happy to have it. It looks like they they have an idea of what's going on, but because nobody has come to them to make any report, so they and now that it's they, they are having an idea about it now. So we need to follow it up. So please, if you have any information about the son that is handling Papa, I mean handling Mubad's case. Let me have the information in my inbox and I will call him and give him the information that he needs and hook him up with whoever he needs to speak to with, uh, you know, at the CNN office. Thank you guys. We we'll do our best to make sure we get justice from mobile. Justice we must get in Jesus name. Amen.